Well, time of the day for, th well, you know what, it's time for day three of this, what we consider one of the all-time great battles on morning television. It's our battle for breakfast supremacy. We began on Tuesday with grits that were chosen by Erica. That was her favorite. Yesterday, it was Jeff's turn, so we made pancakes. And uh, after two days, Marisol is in the lead. Congratulations. Thank you. I know you don't mean it, but thank you anyway. <laughs> this morning, we are making my favorite French toast. And here to help us judge it and taste it, our early show contributor, Katie Lee. Thank you so much. Uh, thank French you. toast, so many different variations. You obviously have a favorite. Well, I love French toast. It's a great thing to make for breakfast. And we're going to do a really simple one just to kind of get you guys started. You need some eggs. Simple is good for us. <laughs> just Simple as good. Definitely for you, Less is more. Less is more. I sense a lot of nerves here. You do? Just a little. It hasn't, it's not a light competition. Okay, so whole milk, because I like to have some fat in there. I'm splashing. And I use a shallow dish. And just a little sugar. I don't like to overpower it, because you are going to put the... You know, the syrup. maple syrup, yeah. I put a little powdered sugar mm -hmm. on mine, some vanilla. And now once you have this, you can do anything. You can get as creative as you like once you have this batter. I like to put a little bit of orange zest oh, in mine. Oh, oh big big time. Katie. Big time. Have you been yeah, reading my recipe, Katie? Because oh. I like you're drawing some inspiration. <laughs> There's from, a lot of from cheese my on the table. Cheating. Yeah. Okay, so then the <laughs> bread goes no in. Cheese. And are you using challah bread? So bread? I'm using brioche. Brioche. Ooh. Because it's a fattier bread. Oh. It has more butter in it. Okay, speaking of butter, let's put a little bit on here. How long do you soak it in there? on the butter. And I put some canola oil. And that just kind of Why do you do that is strong. Because then you get strong. a higher smoking point. The okay. butter won't burn. Oh. So I'm going to need to borrow right your oil no, for you my cooking. Now you get started. You take okay. notes okay. over there. Okay. 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 Yeah, yeah. And get started. I'm going to let mine cook. Okay, so what do we have going on? down here with Mr. Glore. A soon to be disaster is what we have going on. But um, uh, no, so I'm putting, uh, this is actually my mother-in-law's recipe. Oh, okay. I, should, I, should, I should give so her credit. If I don't give you a good score, then I get you in trouble. Right, with your she, she will come no after pressure. you. Okay. No um, no, actually, she, she, I don't she knows, want to cause any marital problems here. She knows how to cook and I don't, so this is why I'm, <laughs> okay. this is why I'm using And it. I see that you are using challah bread. I'm, I'm using challah bread here. Mm -hmm. uh, we got some, some nutmeg and some mm -hmm. cinnamon as well. Um, and then what I'm gonna do actually, I think one of the keys I'm told mm -hmm. is after we're going to garnish, I'm going to put some walnuts on it after oh, we're done. Oh, okay. With some pure syrup from Western New York. I know that you're really into your syrup. I'm huge into the syrup. Mm -hmm, it's very important. You have several kinds here. Yep. Do you but, do a mixture? But they're all from Wyoming County, New York, which is the only place okay. to get syrup. <laughs> the um, only. And then we're going to garnish with a mixture of um, sour cream and cream cheese. Oh, that's interesting. Um, <laughs> and then some, yeah, that's hey, hey, I hey, mean hey, that hey, in a good. Yeah. I mean that in a good way. Mm -hmm. Okay. Back I want you to know, I think that that sounds really good. Uh, some apples and okay. some raspberries as well. Are you well. going to cook those apples? Uh, we may cook them a little bit. Okay. Just to give them a little brownness. Yeah. I think, Is that okay? I think that that's probably a good idea. I don't okay. know if I'm allowed to give you tips. You totally Okay, can. so and you're going to soak your bread and do the whole bit. Yep. All right, I'll check back in with you. All right, thanks, Kate. And what's going on here, So Erica? I mixed mine up. So I've got the eggs, a little bit of cream. This is actually one that my husband makes while oh, we're doing okay. the whole family thing here. Sugar, vanilla, and then Grand Marnier, oh, ooh, which is a special little spice in it. All right. And then I just did a tiny bit of oranges. And what, what we do with this one, we make it in our house, we use French bread, okay. cut it you know, sort of thick, mm -hmm. and then we actually soak it in the fridge overnight. Oh, Whoa. see, I do that sometimes when I bake my French toast. Well, we sometimes you can bake it. In this case, I'm not going to bake it, but that's one of the reasons, like Christmas Eve, we can do it mm -hmm. because then Christmas morning, you just throw it in while uh -huh. you're cleaning up wrapping paper. Exactly. I love that. I love the make ahead. Well, it sounds very good, and I like the orange zest touch. Okay. That sounds great. Okay, so this is Hi, your favorite food. This is so my what favorite do we have going food? on here? Uh, I just have some eggs, some heavy cream, mm -hmm. a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of cinnamon. The boys really like it. And this is just plain old white bread. Plain old white bread. I like bread, okay. the soaking situation. I like to get it really nice and soaked. I served Excuse it. Excuse me. There is, there is uh, all right. sorts of What's going on? Raggy stole the oil. Raggy stole the oil. I was wondering where it was. Yeah. Yeah. Katie, what I the... have to be honest with you. you. You set us up with that canola oil. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. I will be bringing it by for you. <laughs> Thank you. See, share. <laughs> all right. We can share. learn to share. Jeff is filling it, so there might not be any left. What adds to this is I serve it with a... Friend. Thank you, darling. <laughs> Need to be a little nicer down there at the end of the day. Kindness <laughs> is the word of the day. So, um, <laughs> properly soaked, okay. I serve it with a fried egg and bacon done in the oven because everything oh. is better with bacon, and I just wow. want to... Wow. She loves her bacon. I, I think, is, is that allowed? Is bacon allowed? Is, Not really. Is that cheating? This is a French no. Everything's allowed. Everything is 
sometimes better with bacon, but it is it is this not is a, cheating. This is kind of a savory sweet. Okay. Absolutely. Kaylee, right, come on Chris, down. Boy, that is some thick. You like that? Yeah, we French went toast. There, wow. My inspiration is a, um, a little place called Jane down on Houston Street. Mm -hmm. They do a really, really thick French toast, so that's something that I always really, really love. So I went with a little uh, vanilla extract. I actually have a. Uh, one of those in there as oh, well. Vanilla bean. A little vanilla like bean. That. I kind of along the lines of what Eric had. I've got some Grand Marnier in there. Mm -hmm. Also some um, some little, orange. little orange zest. <laughs> so you know it's cooking so away right now. So you're going big or going home? Exactly. That, that is large. I need I need to make up some ground. I'm well behind in this competition right now. So I need to you know. <laughs> did you soak it, it long enough? Yes, I think so. Okay. I think and so. I see that you did bring back whipped cream even after yesterday. No, well it's just there for some reason. It's not necessarily <laughs> going to be used because it was so successful yesterday. I actually I don't, know, don't flip those yet. I, I think I'm, they need I'm gonna, another yeah, one. I'm, no, I'm going to go back and forth. You're going to go back and forth. Yeah, Do you think that's a good idea? I, it doesn't oh. sound like it. <laughs> well, you want to let it get a nice. Okay. browning right, on there. Go back there okay. Now. Well, you know, now you've already flipped it once. Okay. It's okay. I'll, I'll wait to judge Give till the time. end. Don't you worry. I'll wait to judge. Product. I'm going to go check on Jeff again. <laughs> Everybody is down on me in this conversation. He was nervous. He was nervous. Jeff, How long do, do I need have? to cook the apples for oh, here? I mean, boy. Like, can I just brown them a little bit I here? I think that they the... need a few minutes, and I also think maybe you need a couple more on there. Okay, fine. Don't be skimpy with all right, them. All right, all right. You know, I like a lot of food all here. All right, okay, okay. Fine. And what about your nuts? Are you going to toast I think those that's or do I, anything? I, I, well, uh, I will. <laughs> <laughs> this crew, I tell you what. <laughs> take two. walnuts, okay? You tell me. <laughs> you take the lead. Um, I... <laughs> I, um, <laughs> I always get myself in trouble. You do. You do. Listen, walk. it's the beauty of live television. Katie, how's this looking? <laughs> Fabulous. I like that. It looks nice and brown. Okay. Not overcooked, but not undercooked. So very good. Now I see you also have some of those oranges peeled. Are you going to do something uh, with well, those? Well, that that may be part of my secret reveal in the garnish afterwards. Oh, uh, oh. the secret reveal. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I should give too much away. I mean, since Chris is already using my Grand Marnier, I don't want him to use my garnish as well. <laughs> We're back now with our battle for breakfast. It is a huge Ooh. series. It is sweeping the nation right now. Katie Lee cannot get enough of this French toast. Well. That much we know. After three days, though, let's give you a quick check of the leaderboard on a serious note here. Marisol leading the way with eight points. Erica in second place with seven. Jeff right on her tail at six. And I am way behind with five right now. But uh, hopefully that's about to change. We'll see because we have finished our French toast, yes. which was Marisol's uh, favorite comfort dish here on this uh, breakfast challenge. And our celebrity chef. Kaylee, you got uh, you got some work cut out for you. Here, I gotta right? tell you, I'm a little nervous because unlike the other judges, I have to come back and see you guys this next week and the true. week after, so, and I have a feeling I'm going to be hearing about this you, for a long you time. You might come back to see us. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! oh. oh. This is getting really rough. Okay. Get, get so good thing she already me. good thing she already me. sent in her score before let, you said that. Let me that, have huh? a, a little taste of all of these. I have to tell you, um, during the break, I, I tried. All of them, and they're really, really good. So oh, this is really difficult Jeff, for what me. Is, what is uh, that? There's, 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 it's a sour it's a, cream and cream cheese little mixture on the side. Oh, it's a little really, really yummy. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Not, not, not my idea. Big it's, time. It's, it's, it's a good one, which means it's wasn't it's really mine. good. No, I don't know about breakfast. And Jeff, I'm gonna have to tell you, you get a four. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yes, very nice. Very nice. Look at this awesome job. Good job, Jeff. Good job, really, Jeff. Really, really, really good. You. And your mother-in-law still likes it a lot. You can come over. You could still go over for Christmas. It was great. And let's see. I, I like all these so much. I just want to keep eating them. I feel like we all did really well this morning. And also, yeah, great job. The zest, the orange. I love zest. the orange. The Grand nice. Marnier is really coming through. It's really, really nice, Erica. I'm going to give you a three, though. Mm. Because, oh, God. It's like bruschetta. Build me up and then just hack away my legs. <laughs> wow. Wow. Because I think that it maybe needs a little bit of something extra to zhuzh it up to take you to the next I think level. my downfall is is the fact that I'm a less is more kind of girl. Sorry, Erica. Yeah. Mm. I, listen. Okay, sometimes less is more. All right. All right. Good. Let's try this. I love the egg, but it's a strong move. It's a fried egg with the bacon. It's mm -hmm. sweet savory. The egg and the syrup is always a good combo. I think this is a case where less is more. And I'm going to give you a three. It's really, really good, but the egg took away from me. It wasn't quite salty enough. Oh, my goodness. I just just right but it's really good. It's really good. <gasps> uh, Katie. Wow. Are you mm. trying to entice her by feeding the judge? <laughs> no, no, I'll do all the work, Katie. Are you don't allowed worry. to do that? No, Chris, don't look at I can't believe it took you that long to respond. I don't really taste your Grand Marnier, but it tastes it's really, really good. Yeah, I, I like that it's nice and big and fluffy and yummy. Um, 
I'm going to give you a three, two. Oh, heaven. I think oh, that Chef Jeff, Laura, you Jeff was the today. clear winner today. First time ever. Nice did a, job. A really, really First good time job. ever. But yeah. everybody's were great, and I would tell everyone at home to make these recipes because I think they're phenomenal. Oh, yeah, don't so you worry. You did a really good job. In a few yeah. minutes, these are going to be They'll polished be gone off. because yeah. we will polish them off. <laughs> Am I allowed to come back? Are you going to come back? In my <laughs> opinion, you're definitely allowed. <laughs> right? Can I ask a question? Since you were giving us all a little bit of tips, and you know, we're going to give some information on the website for people if they are perhaps intrigued by what we made here. When you say it needs a little something more, what does it need if we don't want to overdo it? Well, I think maybe like something like Jeff's sour cream cream cheese mixture, or if you did it Bacon. like a, a sandwich. Well, I was going to say, you, really you, nice. you tasted my French toast, but you didn't help yourself to the All bacon. Right, so that adds have, the salt. I, I did try the bacon. The bacon. Well, you're taking you can't over. revise the score. Yeah. Who says? It is yeah. good. <laughs> <laughs> Maddie saw once a rejudge. No, it doesn't happen. Let's take a look at the, the leaderboard one more time so as sad. we go into our final yeah. day of competition. Competition. Marisol leading the way with 11 points. Erica and Jeff running a very close second, 10 points each. I am out of this thing. So, um, Katie, thank oh. you very much for helping out today. We'll see you Sorry, in 2014. <laughs> 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 see you in four years. Well, very nice. <laughs> Tomorrow's nice grand finale of the early show cook-off features my breakfast favorite, and that is eggs. Now, sadly, you just saw the leaderboard. I can Who make says you can't make it? Yeah. 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 So we, could, we could all bomb. You could, you yeah. could also pay off Spike Mendelsohn. Eggs are Mendelsohn. tough, let me tell you. That, that's not easy. I'm glad I didn't have to judge the egg day. It, it is interesting that the judge slow. we have um, for the egg contest is right. Spike Mendelsohn, who is here to judge our pizzas oh. yes. for who, the Comfort Food Cook-Off, and who happened okay. to give Chris the edge he needed to take mm -hmm. the trophy. Yeah. I'm just saying it's an interesting pairing. Yeah, it did, did say I have great hands. <laughs> yes, yes, he definitely <laughs> pointed right. that out. Continuing the long series of awkward moments. <laughs> 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 so we'll see what we can do with eggs tomorrow. So, but you know yeah. what? Great job, Jeff. Today, seriously, thank this you, is sir. A wonderful, yes. uh, thank you, sir. A well-fought battle, and you did a wonderful job. And we hope the people at home have some some new ideas for French toast now uh, that they didn't have before. Grandma, yay! It, it works for us. It's didn't good. work for Katie. <laughs> no, it worked but, on Erica's. It, it just didn't. Quite thank you for clarifying. Okay. Right, that's Katie. enough. Okay. Right. <laughs>